Welcome to our deep dive into the world of fitness. Losing belly fat is often seen as a tough task, but with the right knowledge and techniques, it's absolutely achievable. Stay with us as we unfold scientific insights and effective strategies to conquer this challenge together. Let's transform your fitness journey. Before we plunge into the workouts, let's spend a few moments understanding the basics of body composition and fat distribution. You see, our bodies store fat in two primary ways, subcutaneous fat, just under the skin, and visceral fat, around your internal organs. Belly fat, particularly the one we're targeting, is mostly visceral fat. Now, why is this important? A study by Harvard Medical School suggests that visceral fat releases inflammatory substances that increase your risk of cardiovascular diseases, making it potentially dangerous. However, the same study also notes that visceral fat is more metabolically active than subcutaneous fat. This means, with the right kind of exercises and efforts, you can trigger your body to tap into this fat for energy more readily. Moreover, genetics play a role in where your body prefers to store fat, and unfortunately, we don't get to choose. Some people may find that they lose fat from the belly region last. That's just how it is. But don't let that discourage you. Understanding this gives us the power to tailor our workouts to be more efficient and effective. As you embark on your fitness journey to tackle belly fat, a common question might arise, cardio or strength training, which is more effective? Let's unravel this. Cardio exercises, such as running or cycling, are great for burning calories while you're actively doing them. They increase your heart rate and respiration, making your body burn energy to meet these demands. A study published in the Journal of Obesity, 2012, showed that aerobic training significantly reduced visceral fat. On the other hand, strength training, like weightlifting, helps build muscle mass. Why does this matter? Simply because muscles are metabolic powerhouses. According to a study in the American Journal of Physiology, 1998, the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns, even when you're at rest. This contributes to a higher overall metabolic rate, indirectly aiding in fat loss, including belly fat. So, the golden key here isn't choosing one over the other. Instead, it's about finding a balanced routine that incorporates both cardio and strength training, offering you the benefits of both worlds for effective belly fat reduction. Now that we understand the importance of both cardio and strength training, let's talk about a method that combines the benefits of both high-intensity interval training, or HIT. HIT is a form of workout where you perform high-intensity exercises for short bursts, followed by short periods of rest or lower-intensity exercises. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Diabetes Research found that HIIT workouts significantly reduce total, abdominal, and visceral fat mass. What makes HIIT particularly effective for belly fat loss? Two things, firstly, these workouts create a high calorie burn during the exercise itself. Secondly, they lead to what is called an afterburn effect, or scientifically, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption EPOC. This means your body continues to burn calories at a higher rate even after the workout is over, as stated in a 2011 study from the European Journal of Applied Physiology. Therefore, by incorporating HIT into your routine, you're not just burning belly fat during the workout, but you're also setting your body up for continued calorie burning afterward. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Many of us believe in the concept of spot reduction, the idea that we can choose where to lose fat from our bodies by doing exercises that target those specific areas. Doing crunches to lose belly fat, for instance. However, science begs to differ. The spot reduction concept has been debunked by several studies, including a comprehensive one from the University of Massachusetts in 2013. This study showed that fat loss tends to be universal throughout the body, not targeted to specific areas. Our bodies decide where to lose fat based on a number of factors, including genetics and hormones. Unfortunately, we don't get a say in that process. This means doing hundreds of crunches alone won't necessarily burn your belly fat. It's important to focus on total body workouts and exercises that can increase overall metabolic rate and fat burn. However, there's a silver lining. Even though we can't spot reduce, we can spot tone by building muscles in specific areas, which can help improve your overall physique as you're shedding fat. 
So, no, spot reduction isn't a reality, but effective fat loss with strategic muscle toning is. Building on our last discussion, while you cannot spot reduce belly fat, strengthening the core can lead to significant benefits that indirectly aid in fat loss and overall health. Core exercises tone the muscles in your pelvis, lower back, hips and abdomen. This leads to better balance and stability, which translates to improved performance in virtually any physical activity. A strong core also enhances the effectiveness of your workouts. A study from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research 2013, found that participants with stronger core muscles had better performance in both strength and endurance exercises. This means that by improving your core strength, you can push harder in your HIIT workouts, lifting sessions, or any other form of exercise, leading to increased calorie burn and consequently, fat loss. So, while core exercises like planks or sit-ups alone won't burn belly fat, they are an essential part of a well-rounded fitness plan that helps you get rid of excess fat. In the next section, we're going to talk about an often overlooked yet crucial component of effective workouts, functional training. When it comes to burning belly fat, functional training is a hidden gem that often goes unnoticed. So, what exactly is functional training, and why should you care? Functional training involves exercises that mimic everyday movements, engaging multiple muscle groups and joints. Think of squats, lunges, or push-ups. They're not just designed for you to sweat, but also to make your daily activities easier. By incorporating functional exercises into your routine, you're engaging more muscles, which can lead to increased calorie burn and a more efficient metabolism. A study from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research 2015, found that functional training exercises could significantly improve overall body composition and fitness performance. These benefits, coupled with the enhanced calorie burning, can greatly contribute to reducing belly fat. But remember, no single form of exercise alone is the magic solution for losing belly fat. The most effective fitness plan is diverse, incorporating various forms of training like strength, cardio, HIIT, core, and indeed, functional exercises. The key is to keep it balanced, interesting, and sustainable for you. You're committed to your fitness goals, and that's fantastic. But, there's a crucial factor to be aware of, overtraining. While it may seem logical that more exercise equals more belly fat burn, this isn't necessarily the case. Overtraining is when you exercise to the point where your body can't recover properly. It can lead to a series of negative effects, including increased risk of injuries, weakened immune function, and hormonal imbalances. In fact, a review in the Journal of Novel Physiotherapies, 2014, highlights that overtraining can elevate cortisol levels, a stress hormone that when consistently high, has been linked to increased belly fat storage in various studies, like one published in Obesity, 2018. So, pushing your body beyond its limits without proper rest and recovery might do more harm than good. Moderation is key here. Structuring your fitness routine with hard and easy training days and ensuring ample recovery time will help you avoid overtraining while still being effective in your belly fat reduction goals. You've put in the sweat, felt the burn, but now comes an equally essential part of your fitness journey, rest and recovery. It might sound counterintuitive, but to effectively lose belly fat and improve your fitness, rest is non-negotiable. Recovery time is when your body repairs the micro damage caused to your muscles during workouts, helping them become stronger. It's during rest that your body adapts to the stress of exercise, replenishes energy stores, and reduces fatigue. Moreover, a study in the Journal of Applied Physiology 2000, showed that inadequate sleep could disrupt your metabolism, leading to weight gain. This highlights how closely related rest is to your fat burning process. So, how much should you rest? While it can vary based on individual factors and the intensity of your workouts, a common recommendation from the National Strength and Conditioning Association is to allow 48 hours of rest between intense training sessions targeting the same muscle groups. Remember, in the pursuit of burning belly fat, we're not just working out smarter, but also resting smarter. Congratulations on completing this fitness journey. You're now equipped with scientific knowledge and practical strategies to effectively burn belly fat. Remember, consistency, balance, and smart rest are key. Let's put it all into action with this sample HIIT functional strength workout. Ready to sweat? Let's get started.